Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at using white balance and the way that you can take video footage and after the fact, shift the white balance to get the colors of the video or the images looking kind of more the way you want them. It's very simple, but I think it's a very powerful tool. Okay, so the first video here, for example, I shot with my, I think it was my GH5, my Panasonic Lumix GH5. If you look at it, it looks a little bit warm, which means more toward the orangish color. But what I wanted to do is just show you the difference you can do with one little setting. So let me go ahead and click and highlight this video. We're gonna go to the first icon here, which says color balance. Then you're gonna click on white balance and it's gonna give you a little dropper tool. So the way this works is you, you look for the thing on your video or your image, it's kind of like the most natural white color. And then you click on that, it'll change the properties of the rest of the video footage to gear it toward that sample being the actual true color white. I don't know if that makes any sense, but let's go ahead and mess around here and you'll probably get the gist of what I'm talking about. So over here on the right is kind of white and a little bit overexposed, but we'll go ahead and try that one. And you'll notice right away the color of the actual video turned from an orangish to, more, more, uh, to a less warm, more natural looking color. This little toggle here will let you show the before and the after. So we've actually, you know, changed the quality of the video pretty substantially. So let's go ahead and continue on. I'll hit X to kind of remove that. We'll hit white balance again. And I'll try another area of the video here. Let's go with that G from the God Eater 3. And again, you'll notice the really substantial difference of color change that happened. Let's go ahead and use our toggle here. That's the after, that's the before. So it's pretty cool what can actually happen with using this tool and, and just clicking on one little area of, of white or of any color and it just affects the, the whole video itself. So really cool, I kinda like it. Alrighty, I think that's it for today's tutorial. As usual, don't forget, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, peace, and aloha, we'll talk to you next time.